Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and I'm going to continue my Let's Plays. So, in the last video I've been following a killer's trail, I was attacked, I've evolved a bit with some skills, but now I need to speak to the locals again. Okay, let's turn that off because that means I'm actually targeting people. So let's see if I can talk to this lady here. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. Well, if you must. Okay, so... I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. What happened tonight? I he was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes. His face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin. His hands. Yes. I scrubbed yeah. every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, Will... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Okay, so I've got some information on Tom. Okay, so let's just, oh, sorry, again, let's go this way. So I'm assuming this is Tom here. So let's check the details on him. So there's Tom. So what hint have we got? Tom and Will used to be good mates. So I've got some information on him. Got some, oh, she's the one. Ah, she is the one that I found some other stuff on before. Okay, so let's work away to speak to this gentleman here. Hello, sir. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll leave you to your bottle then. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. <laughs> he said stranger. See, this is... Ah! The word stranger. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. Why lie to me? Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's the truth. Yeah, again, he... he... Who is he? William. Just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. He can barely stand up most of the time. How was he tonight? Was he different? Uh, sicker than usual, perhaps. Whiny. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside, and then he left when I refused. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's, he's a tall, tall sick, sick bastard, bastard with a bad rash <laughs> and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Right, so... I think I'm losing my mind. I should just run as far away from this place right. as I can. Right, so I might actually go... Again, I've pressed the wrong button. Let's click back. Let's click this one. So the pier, it means I need to go to there to investigate the boat. But can I put... Ah, I can put a marker down. I'm going to go back to the hideout for a second. 
All right, so I can't just jump up there like that. So I'm obviously going to have to... Oh, is there a way in this way? Nope. I'm going to have to go the way I did before, which was... Yep. So it just seems strange I couldn't do it further along. I'm going to just come here for a second. I'm going to upgrade again. God, that... Being near that light, that's not good. I might have to put a warning for you guys. So, again, I'm now going to go over to... Should I do 10%? Nah, I'm going to go to here. I'm going to increase my health, so I've got 50 more health points. Let's click back. Oh, no, no. And let's confirm. So, at this... So, the following night... So. I'm advancing time. At least there's not actual timed adventures so far. But yeah, so I'm going to increase my blood capacity when I get a chance as well. Let's just jump off here because... Right, so let's now go... This way for a second to the boat. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. Okay, What's so... What's been done to me? To this city? I wonder if there's anything else I can find around here. I don't know if I can go in the water. And I don't feel like doing it for science sake bit at this minute, if I'm being honest. Okay, so... The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. Uh, pick up the note. What's this? Someone's some sort of note. Okay, let's press the details for a second. Um, the 30th of October from G. McCullum to Boat Patrol. Objective. Multiple deaths in the dock region we believe is a nasty leech is involved. Locate the beast, purge it and quickly. Warning. According to recent reports, the vampire is very violent. Approach with extreme caution. I know we lack men in this part of town, but we can but we don't send rookies to investigate the case. If I if I am correct, we we just we got a frenzy one killing each night. As always, searching the abandoned buildings first, like old homes, basements, sewers or warehouses. Destroy the Leech Brothers. Okay. So I've got some more information. These men. They're a company of professional vampire hunters. Uh, okay, so let's uh, examine the outfit. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. Examine the this wound. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. Examine the bone. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. There are on. blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Okay, so is there a way of... Yeah, there is. So, let's jump over. Is there anything of interest around here? Doesn't look like there is. So let's again follow a blood trail. I'm on the western dock. Again, I've pressed the wrong button. Okay, so, so far I've done there. I've got a nice little hideout over here. So now we're working our way around here. So it is not a small map, really. But this could just be, there could be more to London. Okay, so let's again have a look around here. So there's a bit of blood there. Obviously it goes in that warehouse. Is this locked? It's locked. Okay. Oh, this someone. That looks beastral. Uh, out of control. Sneak up behind. Out of combat. Slow. Okay. How do you sneak? Okay, so. So that blood spear was useful, but I 
Okay, so I got some bullets. Ho 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 ho. Means I got a gun now. Crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. Yeah, okay. Okay, so there's something going on over there, but there's people outside there. Obviously he's killed someone here, so let's move this way for a minute. There's more shillings over here. Always useful. Powder. Okay, so I know I've got some people to deal with there, so let's move up to here. Ah, uh, there's one of them over there. I want to be quiet if I can. It just doesn't seem like you can avoid killing people, which is a shame. I'm still... I like the idea of this game, but I'm still not too sure of how good it actually is at this minute. Because he's standing there, so I don't know if I might be able to sneak up, uh, up the side on him. I hope... I hope there's something I can do here, because I've got a horrible feeling this guy's going to be quite dangerous in a second. He's also got what looks like a very nasty weapon in front of him. Okay, so let's... Okay, let's grab him. Got him with a spear. Excellent. So he's dropped something. So what's he dropped? Shotgun shells. I don't own a shotgun. Lead pipe. So let's see if there's anything up here for me to follow. No, it doesn't look like there is, if I'm being honest. There's more shillings here. Is there a way of jumping down on people or... Alright, so let's put the vampire view thing on before... Oh, So, no, let's put him back on. So he's a shooter, is he? And he's a melee and a shooter. Okay. That's interesting, so I know that does that sort of stuff then. Okay, so range, blood of power, the shadows, okay. Uh, orange is medium resistance, high is high resistance. So he's high to, oh, okay, so melee, but okay. Okay, so let's turn that off for a minute. Let's walk slowly, just in case I can eat someone before they get a chance to know what's going on. Ah. I'm caught in a corner. I'm caught in a corner. Okay. Right, so I've just healed myself. Oh! Oh, go! I'm not sure what to do here. Ah, I tried to dodge! Give my lank. Okay, so just me chopping turned out to be the best thing I could do there. Little annoyed because I know I could do better than that. So let's have a look to see what's going on. I can hear a voice. But as I'm saying, I'm just a little annoyed I'm hurt like I am. Because I. Right, so I've put that up. Who's in here? Right, so I might be able to sneak up behind him. I wonder if I can... Because I got the drop on someone before, didn't I? So... Oh, there's more than one. So they both look in... Alright. 
I think I ne might need some blood, so... Oh god, there's more than one. Not a good place for there's one of them! Watch yourself! Uh, Got him! Okay, so let's just do a spear. Get him. Did I just kill them both? Wow. Was not expecting that. Okay, guys, I got the pistol. I'm not too sure if that would be a great thing to do here. So, what is this over here? Okay, some details, new tactics. Okay, I know that some of our uh, companions considered that the best advice we have in fighting against leeches is that we cannot, uh, they cannot go out during the day. Thus, we shall hunt them down when they hide powerless in their sleep. This is a rookie mistake. First, because vampires are clever. Uh, they have countless ruses and tricks to, tricks to avoid being spotted in their dens. Secondly, because they deploy the most deadly traps to kill any invader in what they consider the most precious sanctuary. It would cost us too much men and too much time to explore and eradicate vampires in their hideouts. Or execute, sorry. The best tactic is to follow and destroy them when they are re uh, really very uh, v uh, vulnerable when they are hunting at night. It is much easier to attack them then and it, for they can be easily spotted. That's why the guard of pro, uh, pro, I can't even pronounce that, sorry, must evolve. We must deploy new tactics to hunt the leeches. Small mobile patrols, tactic based, uh, based on tactics and advances. Modern communications. We must learn many things from the war in France. We can learn many things from the war in France. New strategies, new equipment, new weaponry, grenades, white phosphor, ooh, ultraviolet light, bulletproof vests, and flamethrowers. It is time for the guard to embrace the 21st century for the new war by Gareth McLaren, whoever leader. Okay, so this is getting interesting. Right, is there anything else I can find around here? Oh, I thought it was something shining on the floor there. Well, at least I can't burn myself by accident. I've done that before and stuff. Okay, let's see if there's... Oh, there is something here. Is that a shotgun? Oh. Remember, I can sneak up behind him and bite him, maybe. Get some blood. Okay, can I do it? It's stunning. Over there! Oh. Kill him. Let's, let's try and knock him down. Let's get him again. Okay, let's try and get him down. Oh, I can't. Okay, so what's he got on him? Some shillings. But I got a lot more blood, which is all good. Okay, so now let's turn. Oh, there's more people for me to follow. To kill, sorry. Oh, I haven't checked all upstairs. Why am I trying to leave already? someone over there right because we don't know what might be upstairs at this second or even downstairs in the corner over here I've got bullets now let's go here for a second guys sorry wrong bit let's go over here let's let's give myself an now the shotgun I have two a magazine of six press one. Okay, so let's... Okay. I've just put the... Ah, so... Okay, fair enough. I can, I've realised what I can do now. So I've got that. I can swap that over. Let's have a look what's around here. So I've got a pistol. I'm going to try the pistol in a second as well, guys. You, you never know. It might be actually quite useful. I'm not sure if there's anything else up, up here, really. Okay, that doesn't seem to be. Right, again, I like the idea of the game, 
I like the story, but I'm still not 100% sold on the gameplay at this minute, guys. Okay, so there's blood this way. There seems to be something shiny that way. Right, so I come this way for a second and then punch this man in there. Okay, let's just cut him up. Oh, I was actually meant to shoot him, weren't I? Okay, so there's someone of interest over there. There's also something else, another hideout. Rats and hideouts. So, he's got to be around here somewhere, so let's do that. So it looks like he may have gone up to there. But before I do that, it looks like there was someone of interest this way. Is it locked? I cannot enter. Damn! Because there's someone of inter interest, or is interesting to me over there. So is there any blood go? Yeah, there seems to be... Oh, pardon me. There seems to be blood coming this way as well. Well, before I go off and do anything else, let's go off up here. There's a new another hideout, so hideout's always useful. I just don't like the, sh the blinking light above it. I don't know if you guys feel the same, so I've got another hideout. Okay, so I've got some bits there. Okay, so let's open this up. Uh, leave for a minute. Let's take the shillings that are sitting on the side over here. I don't have enough XP to advance anything, really, so can I make anything at this second? Um... Can I can't okay, so let's see if there's a can I turn this into a level two? Nope. Let's see if I can turn the stake into a uh, nope. The used machete. Let's see if I can turn that in, upgrade that to a common machete. Oh I can. Let's upgrade something then. I've upgraded my first piece of equipment, guys. I feel really cool doing that. <laughs> Shame you don't get XP for doing it though. So Okay, wrong button. Let's have a look what the machete does now, then. A common machete. I believe it does eight more points of damage. Yeah. I'm kind of liking that. This means I've got a better chance of maybe hurting this vampire as well. Let's make my way this way. Something maybe of interest here. There seems to be blood that way. The blood does go into there as well. Can I open this bit? It's locked, all right. Okay, so let's go this way. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Okay, so whoever this vampire is, he's. Okay, so let's check the details of this weapon. Two-handed weapon. Okay. Let's come over here. I've got offhand, main hand. Let's change that. So the dam oh that does a lot of damage. But uses a lot of stamina. There's a large scythe. Let's have a look at the details for it. Uh well I've got some stuff for it, but I can't make that yet. Uh is he will please let go of me? Okay, is there anything else? This place reeks of bloodshed. Oh, some stuff for me to take. Let's pick it up. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Oh, okay, so this William creature is now going for me. 
Okay, so that. Oh, okay, you get. Wait, I can, can I bite vampires? Okay, so I've done a bit of damage there. Okay. So you could drink from vampires, that's cool to know. Okay, so I'm not sure if he, oh he's immune to, he's got high resistance to that. Okay, let's get him. Okay, so Oh he's blocking by the looks of it. Oh he's got me! Okay, so Oh! Got him. And I'm going to go. Oh, he got me again! Okay, so I'm going to give myself some health. So I've killed whatever this was. Is this the priest? I'm going to check on him in a second. I'm going to come this way. I want to... I can see there's some money over there. Typical. Let me go. Let me open this up. There seems to be lead rods and some other bits. Anything else? Like a note or something? Too late. Okay. William was an honourable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well. Another lost soul. A kindred spirit. Sir. Listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir. Um, I already have. Not sure what to say here, guys, because this is... Again, the story's... By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fold. My flock needs me. Yes, sir. Go with the good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Okay, so I need to investigate his body then. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Okay, so let's just go here for a minute, guys. I could go to the hideout, maybe for a second. Um, I now have 500. Rest to evolve. Okay, well, I'll, I'll do this for the meantime. Alright, I think I'm going to call that a day there, guys. It's again, I'm, uh, I come from work, I'm a little tired. I like this episode more than I did the first one. If I'm being honest, I hope you can fast travel between hideouts as well, because I'd like to go back and talk to some of the people that I can maybe learn some more things from. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. 
And the woman? What? Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. Okay. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Oh, Welcome the war's to still the going. Lines of a plague. This is where you work, oh. Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stole, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Okay, so something's going on. Dr. Reed. Marvellous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. <laughs> and what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth. But when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Okay. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. Okay, so what the is going would on be for still? the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. Hmm. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Okay, so again, I'm still trying to work out what's going on. Um, okay, it's another cutscene. <laughs> Quite a lot of these, if I'm honest. Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, so I thought you were a doctor against the plague from what I saw from the adverts. Obviously, that's Pembroke, not the case. It's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Okay. Right. 
I'm assuming the game's probably just saved here. So yeah, I saw the little thing in the corner over yonder. So guys, I'm gonna just say, let's, uh, before I do that, okay, wrong button again. I've gotta get used to this. I actually wanna go back to the docks, so can you fast travel to here? Maybe, because I've got you know, these little nice little hidey places. Might wander around, see what's going on. So there's Whitechapel. There's the West End, there's the North Docks, there's the Docks, and the West Docks. Again, uh, maybe the game isn't as big as I thought it was, but it still int uh, intrigues me. And all those Bishop's Blood in the... Uh, yeah, I might do that in a second, but I could also wander around London, have a look at things. Um, let's have a quick look here. So there's a couple of things going on here. So let's go back to the Docks. Let's go that way. Let's go back to the Docks. So we, we met this uh, person here. Oh no, I don't think we did actually. So we learnt a little from him. Learnt a little bit about these two as well. Okay, so there's still quite a few other people for me to try and investigate. Let's go over here. So I know about this doctor here. Okay, so let's go just go back for a second. Anyway guys, I'm going to say... If you like this video, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. Everyone is welcome. Help me on the road to 1,000. I also know, guys, that, um, yes, I am doing a lot of computer game stuff recently. It's easier for me to do, guys. Um, and I can do it at certain times of day. I can't do the other filming. I also hope you're all having a great day. I know I am. Please leave in the comments to tell me if you've played this game, have you enjoyed it, what would you have done different compared to what I've done. I'm still not too sure where to go with this, um, to be honest. Uh, this is going to be a let's play, but I think this is going to be a little bit more not so often. Let's play because I want to try and finish Battletech, I want to try and finish Frostpunk, and I want to try and do more with Moonlight as well. And I don't think I've got time for three, um, four let's play. So, like Jurassic Park when it comes out next week, I'm going to have a couple come out with it straight away. But the other three are going to be my main Let's Plays until I finish them. Anyway, guys, as I said, I hope it will go well. I've liked this episode more than I did do the other one. I, um, I wasn't too sure about the tutorial. This, I have to say, I have liked. Anyway, guys, see you later and goodbye.